Hey friend, it's me, Erin, your friendly neighborhood energy alchemist. And I wanted to talk to you today about one of my most common spiritual symptoms that I feel that a lot of people have been asking me about. So the first thing I wanna remind you of is everything is energy, right? And energy, the movement of energy creates heat, right? Like when you boil a pot of water, you're creating heat through energy, the fire that heats the water, causes it to boil, and you know, that's how it works. Energy in your body works the same way, friend. So for me, I call these my spiritual flashes, my spiritual hot fires, whatever you want to call it. It's a feeling of being instantly hot in my entire body and then it dissipates within a few seconds. Um, for me, this happens when I'm downloading some kind of information, when I'm super tapped in, or when I'm sleeping. With sleeping, it's the idea that you leave your body when you sleep. We all do. You don't have to stay in your physical body because your physical body needs rest, but your etheric body doesn't. So we all leave our bodies as we sleep. Sometimes if you drop back into your body faster than normal, that heat comes with it and that will wake you up. Of course, I understand there's such a thing as menopause and night sweats. This is not that, I promise you. This is not that, it is not the same. This lasts for that quick, but it is so wholly hot that it just, it wakes me up every single time. Sometimes like three, four, five times a night, seriously. That's okay because you leave your body to do this. So a spiritual hot flash is very different than a regular hormonal hot flash. You will know the difference. You will feel the difference. And stop gaslighting yourself that it's not what it is. You know it is. You got other people to gaslight you. Don't give them the pleasure. You know what's right for you. You know what resonates with you. Don't try to make everything fit. It's not about how it feels for someone else. It's about how it feels for you right now in this moment. I'm just saying. But that's one of my most common spiritual symptoms. And if you're in the middle of an awakening and you're experiencing this, you are not alone, friend. Save this, like this, share this, whatever you wanna do, but come back to it just so that you know you're not alone and you're not crazy. I mean, you might be crazy, but not spiritually. No judgment, have a great day.